Pisces, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a timeless reading. Whenever you're drawn to the video is when it's for you. No particular subject, we're gonna take, um, we'll do my version of the Celtic Cross and um, at the end there'll be an opportunity for an extended where we'll dive in deeper. You can watch this for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your 12th house, this could be for you. Once again, thank you for the continued support in whatever format that comes, whether it's liking a video, whether it's commenting, whether it's subscribing to a channel. Um, if you haven't already, please do that. It's the fastest and easiest ways to grow the channel. It does wonders, so thank you very much indeed. Um, thank you, Patreon members, all those that purchase private reads, extended to buy me your coffees. It keeps me able to do this. Cross watchers, you are more than welcome, and all information is in the description box below. Uh, Pisces, do two more. See what we get. We have the Eight of Wands. Okay. Right, communication possibly coming in quickly. Okay. I almost feel like it's with your yeah, ancestors. I'm looking at the um, his shirt, and the, the there was just a shape of, of a rune that really stood out, um, Othala, um, which is um, linked to the ancestors. So there could be some sort of communication coming in, um, whether this is from family or about your ancestry or or maybe research into your ancestry or literally you are going to be hearing something from your spirit guides your ancestors crossing you root of the matter oh they're approaching you in dreams recent past what you want What's coming in? <laughs> okay. Ooh, how you see yourself. How others see you. Advice. And potential outcome. Wow, how many cards do you want, Pisces? Okay. We have you, bottom of the deck, with the Ace of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Emperor, and the Star card. Interesting. Right. There is a lot going on here, Pisces. Um, a lot of it is etheric. <laughs> but you guys rule the 12th house. It's, it's nothing new to you. Okay. Your ancestors are trying to warn you about something here. Um, it could be a particular person. It could be, th th there's, there's a, it's either a warning or it's like you might be ignoring red flags about something. Um, but there's, there's, it's like your ancestors are screaming at you here. Literally, I'm, I'm seeing um, Othala communication, the hawk seeing from a higher perspective. Crossing you is the Nine of Wands. Now, the Nine of Wands is, is prepping for defence. Root of the matter is the moon. So there is some sort of um, communications possibly in your dreams. So really pay attention to your dreams. Um, dream journal. Um, even if it doesn't make sense at the time, just even if it's individual words, it will just start making sense uh, afterwards. In the recent past is the Ten of Cups. For me, this is screaming ancestors. All this energy is screaming ancestors. Ten of Cups, Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands. Ancestors trying to communicate with you here. Uh, it definitely feels like you're coming in via your dreams. Um, what you want is the Nine of Cups. You don't want any of this. You just want wish fulfillment. You want to sit in the park, uh, celebrate with friends. Um, in the Toff deck that I'm using for the uh, extendeds, it's just called happiness. And, and who, who can blame you? We all want happiness. Um, I just feel like there's something, something that's um, possibly coming in 
that you might be blindsided by and it might be a position of lust because we do have the devil what's coming in is the devil now this is an embrace this is this is something that's very heated passionate um and you know enough to blow your socks off how you see yourself is your socks getting blown off the knight of swords with the tower um i, I almost feel like you you're not um you're not unfamiliar with tower moments i would say i think you've been through it you've you've done a lot of deep healing um but there's just something that you the universe is trying to warn you about here it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing it could just be um a, a, a kind of don't get carried away with whatever this is if you're in a partnership especially with the ten of cups here it could be warning you that um there is a toxic energy that's surrounding this whether this is a new person that's going to try and uh, um inter interfere in some way because how others see you is the three of cups this is a third energy it doesn't have to be third party as in another person um an energy can be anything work related um responsibilities related related for a lot of you it um it does tend to indicate that there is something possibly not exactly truthful in this energy. Your advice is the strength card. Strength is about taming the beast. Devil, card of lust. In the Toff deck, the strength card is called lust. This could be taming your urges, uh, your carnal urges. This, If this is anything, this kind of feels like there's somebody that's in your environment that can be um, intoxicating. This could be an opportunity that sounds too good to be true. Um, whatever this is, you need to take a step back, trust, trust your intuition, like, nobody's business with the moon here and really assess this situation from a higher perspective with hawk medicine see things from a, a broader broader perspective because somebody's going to get carried away with with lust here um and if you're not careful there could be i don't know pregnancies if, uh, if 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 that's the case um if your outcome we have the chariot this is a shift this is a shift in power uh, we go from the strength card to the chariot which obviously is a step back in the numerology uh, however this is just a balanced energy we have the nine of swords and we have the five of cups and the seven of pentacles i'm getting so many different aspects here this is a pregnant woman with the seven of pentacles uh, the five of cups is something that's possibly a little bit of a shock here uh, with the nine of swords so this could be a shocking pregnancy somebody's given in to uh, to lust here it doesn't have to be this could be something that seems really 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 too good to be true and it it is um this devil energy seems very much smothering is, is probably the best way i can put it you might find every time i see the nine of cups and the devil together um uh, this is addictions so you might find that this there's there's an energy that's coming in that is addictive um whether this is a person uh, an activity um whatever it's it's addictive you guys rule the 12th house of addictions so energetically based on the houses you are susceptible to it interesting <laughs> i just want to see where the ace of wands is because we've got that eight of wands and then the nine of wands so we've got the, the Ace of Wands that's added to it, which is in the crossing position. Ace of Wands with the Devil and the Strength card just speaks of very phallic energy. 
Um, yeah, but I think your ancestors are trying to warn you about this devil, this temptation. Yeah, the, the, whatever this is, is not based in reality. The Ace of Wands with the Three of Swords. And, and the Seven of Cups, sorry. Um, this is not based in reality. This is an escapism uh, energy. There could be an addictive aspect of this. Possibly, um, I don't know, we've got the Seven of Pentacles, which is picking from the trees. This could be getting addicted to um, plant medicines. Whatever this is, your ancestors are trying to warn you about it to not get carried away with this energy because there's something that's very, very alluring. But ultimately, I'm not 100% sure whether it's very good for you. Okay? It does feel addictive. We've got four nines here. You might have seen a lot of nines. Nine of ones, moon is 18, breaks down to a nine. Uh, we have Nine of Cups, Nine of Swords. But yeah, whatever it is, whatever um, this kind of devil tower is, you've got the ability to to tame it. Um, so I'm just looking at the bull. I'm just going to see where the Hierophant is, Taurus Energy. Hierophant is with the Five of Swords and the Six of Cups. This could be somebody from the past that's not letting you go. They could have some sort of spell on you, and I, I, I don't mean that as in uh, literal, but the, the, there's some sort of charm uh, to this person that um, um, is, is alluring. I don't, I, I don't know how other way to describe it. Um, Yeah. This is a charming energy. And, you, and your ancestors are warning you. <laughs> okay, so whatever this is, just be, just be careful. There's there's obviously, you've got the strength and capability to uh, to, to deal with it. Um, you know, before you were, before you were taming the heart, uh, taming the lion, now it's time to, with a strength card, I know it's the, uh, tor uh, the bull on it. Um, uh, perhaps, you know, in the past you were taming the bull, but now you are the bull. You um, know what you want in life. If it just feels whatever this is, might not be good for you. <laughs> Fun at the time, but not very good for you. Okay. In your extended, we will look at what this devil is, what we know about it, what we don't, recent past advice and potential outcome. Um, if you can join me, fantastic. If not, let me know if this resonates. We have Cancer Pisces, Moon in Sagittarius, Mercury in Sagittarius, Mars in Pisces, Jupiter in Pisces, Capricorn, Aries, Scorpio, Mercury in Cancer, Leo, Cancer, Mars in Gemini, Mars in Scorpio, Saturn in Taurus, Pisces, Jupiter in Gemini, Aries, Aquarius, Venus in Aries, Moon in Taurus, Mercury in Cap uh, Virgo, Jupiter in Capricorn, Sun in Gemini. Wands, Cups, Swords, Pentacles, everyone's here, those who stand out. Okay, let me know. Good luck, enjoy, be careful.